Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, it's been a busy afternoon in the uh, weather department, hasn't it? Yeah, and uh, you know, if you're sitting here in South Burlington, you're like, eh, I don't know what they're doing over there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's just been so spotty around here, but down south, getting kind of walloped. Mm. Not so much anymore. I mean, a lot of this has moved into New Hampshire, but let's start you out with the radar here. We'll show you what's happening, and you may notice we've got some clearing going on while we continue to watch some of the rain, especially down south, but we have a few other areas where some stuff has popped up. Look at this, right along the northern tier of Vermont, very close to the border. So just north of Sheldon, along Route 78 here, and then over toward Berkshire and Richford, we do have some thunder and lightning going on. Nothing severe, it's moving off to the east, but not all that quickly. And then a couple of dots here and there, right near Charlotte and also Essex, the ferry crossing there. That must be a heck of a run right about now. Meanwhile, right over the Adirondack Northway, just north of North Hudson, maybe just clipping you guys there. We've got some pretty decent showers, but bottom line is this, it's going to move out. Yep, we continue to see the rain in southern New Hampshire going into Massachusetts now and maybe a little bit right around Springfield, but not like earlier. So the trend is for clearing, which makes way for a very nice day tomorrow. Showers and storms, they're moving out tonight. Sunshine, it is going to be warmer for the upcoming day on Thursday, tomorrow, and the weekend weather. We're starting to get a handle on that for you. Here's what's going on right now over Burlington. Things are looking just fine and dandy out there where it is 83 degrees. It feels like it's 86 out there. Humidity levels have been pretty high around here. 76 Saranac Lake, 79 degrees right now. That is St. Johnsbury. We've got a 74 down in Rutland where we've had a few more clouds when you kind of add it all up. So for tomorrow, I mentioned we're in great shape as we head that way. Check it out. We've got a partly sunny sky. It is going to be humid tonight. Sticky night. Kind of a rough sleeping night. And here's the thing. We go into the 80s and well into the 80s. It is going to be warmer tomorrow, thinking a high around here of like 88 degrees. So future cast 730, not looking at much rain even at that hour. And out this goes. So it becomes clear. We're going to call it partly sunny for tomorrow. It is going to be humid. It's going to be a beach kind of day. Tomorrow night, though, we may see a couple of rain showers that float on through late and then into the beginning of Friday, you know, a couple of showers in the forecast. In fact, we'll keep that chance in there throughout the day Friday and Saturday is going to be kind of a similar situation. So clearing kind of humid out there tonight. Some of us will find some fog by tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the 60s for most of us for lows tonight. And here comes your tomorrow. It's going to be partly sunny. It's going to be warm and it is going to be humid. Plattsburgh, 86, 87, Keysville, Newcomb coming in at 83 tomorrow. We'll call it 88 in Burlington, Milton, 88. How about Lisbon, 86? It's going to be a fine looking day. Summer like tomorrow, partly sunny, warm and humid in Plymouth, 81, Killington at 79. All right, five day forecast, 88 tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, both days. While we may see a few showers, we're not expecting much rain. So we go from 83 to 80 on your Saturday. Sunday looks to be the brighter of the weekend days at this point, 80 degrees, and we'll extend this thing out for you because Monday looks good. Scattered showers and or just regulation showers kind of coming back for next Tuesday, Wednesday, but next Thursday we get a break and more sunshine.